Hi there, this is Michael from Blurry Pixel and we're getting closer to releasing Pixel Cloud and I wanted to drop by and give you guys some quick looks at the plugin. And in a nutshell, Pixel Cloud is a 3D displacement and relighting effect for After Effects. Now what does that mean? Well we can take a source image and move those pixels in 3D space using After Effects own 3D cameras and relight that image using After Effects lights or an image based light. To do that it uses either a special position pass that can be generated from 3D programs or what's called a depth map or depth pass. To demo what the latter is all about I've made up an image with this little tutorial. Uh, I've got a cute little dog here I'm named Jack. Incidentally this image was downloaded from morgfile.com a public image archive. I brought that image into Photoshop and I separated the dog from the background as you can see here. I also filled in the background and most importantly I painted what's called a depth map. Now this depth map is a grayscale representation of the distance of an object's surface to the camera. And so what I've done here is basically made a rough estimation of that depth using Photoshop's gradient and brush tools. Now bringing that all into After Effects, I converted everything to fit within the composition size. In this case I chose on 960 by 540 and I called it Main Comp. I'm also going to pre-comp the source and the depth map layers, nesting all attributes. I'll name my source image source. and I'll name my depth map comp depth. There we go. After that I will create a new camera. Two node is fine. 50 millimeter in this case. And I'll rename that to shot cam. alright and then I'm gonna create a reference camera and so I will duplicate shot cam and rename that duplicate ref cam move that camera to the bottom of the list and I can go ahead and lock that because I'm not gonna change it anymore this camera will be used as a non animatable reference now I can create a new blank solid comp size make it black move that right underneath shot cam there and I'll rename that pixel cloud and turn off the depth and source layer here as well as for now I'll turn off the background layer and I will apply the pixel cloud plugin going to affect blurry pixel pixel cloud and I need to set the source to our source comp, the position pass to our depth comp, and next I'll set the reference camera by clicking the link reference camera button here. Choose ref cam, OK. This will set a number of expressions on the effect linking the appropriate attributes to our reference camera. Now go back up to the position pass adjustments and twirl that down and select for map RGB2 to Luma Z projected. Great. And under invert Z, go ahead and enable that. I'll go up to gain adjustments, unselect uniform gain, and then under gain Z, change that to 512. Now I'll try moving the shot cam around using the camera tools. As you can see the pixels are already displaced in 3D which means we can do subtle camera animations around the dog. If I move the camera around too much you can see the individual pixels of the pixel cloud start to separate. So what I'll do is I'll change the source 
and depth map comps to be twice as large as the main composition. I'll jump into each comp, firstly the depth comp, and then I'll go to File, Scripts, Demo Palette, Scale Composition, New Scale Factor 2, Scale, and voila, the depth comps, and voila, the width and height are now double what it used to be. I'll do the same for the other comp. Jump into that comp. Go to File Scripts, Demo Palette, Scale Composition, 2.0, Scale. That's now also 1920 by 1080. And now we go back to our main comp. And uh-oh, everything is about twice now everything just got bigger. So what I'll need to do is go back under gain adjustment and change gain X to 0 0.5 and gain Y to 0 0.5. Great. So now we don't have that separation problem as we did before. And I will now I will cr create a quick camera animation that doesn't move too far. Uh, I'll reset the camera. There we go. And even the subtlest bit of camera animation, one thing that helps is to use preview mode. And I'll switch that to uh, eighth in this case. So keyframe. Move to the end. Now I've got a very slow-mo type of feel um, animation. Great. A very slow-mo feel in this case. But I also want the background to move here, so I'll turn the background back on. And I'll make it into a 3D layer. And move that back and away from the camera. There we go. And fill the screen with it. Great. Now before I render, I'll go back into our pixel cloud effect and disable or turn off the uh, preview grid. Lastly here, I will select the enable pixel anti-alias option. An anti-alias helps to smooth out jaggedness and flickering in animations, but, but it does add a bit to your render time, so it's best to turn it off before rendering or use one of the preview modes, which also temporarily disable pixel anti-aliasing. I don't want to render the whole thing, I just want to render a portion of the animation here, so I will clip my working area and render it out. I'll use H264, comp, there we go, and render it out. And there we go, we'll just uh, give it a few minutes, and, and we have a slow motion animation of Jack. And thanks for listening, I am Michael from Blurry Pixel, and that was a quick tutorial of using the Pixel Cloud plugin to create subtle movements from a photograph.